when we're in our, doing our Qi Kung exercises, we're in a very relaxed state, which puts us in a very nice vibration in order to attract good things into our lives. I've been doing Tai Chi for about three years and I found that it's really improved my Tai Chi and I have more balance now. I'm breathing better. I'm feeling more Qi. Pain was gone within about a week of uh, starting the Qigong practice. And ever since I've been practicing Qigong, I felt my vitality and my light just come forth. When we finish here, I felt so much energy. And I said, wow. Working with the energy, it's, it's um, to me, it's, I'm going to use the word almost miraculous, and that's really how I feel it. it's been with, with the, working with the children and energy in the classrooms. When I started out, I had a lot of asthma. It, it's gone. I think that it's a great uh, stress reliever. It's actually helped me from an emotional standpoint, always happy, and, and my health has changed dramatically is that it's just a gift to yourself and you just feel really great and it's helped me physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. I find that it balances the entire uh, skeletal system and brings back tranquility and synergizes the senses. I came to Qigong uh, basically seeking a relief from pain and uh, had some private healing sessions with Master Teresa that were wonderful and really loosened up my my neck and back and problem areas. Qigong has basically given me the courage to to be who I am. <laughs> I was in very bad health. I was going through some personal crisis in my life. Things improve and I slowly progress and doing well. Power of Qi. When the pain really hits me, uh, it's an alternative, a much healthier alternative than taking a strong painkiller. These days uh, when I'm at work and sometimes I'm, I feel exhausted and then I just take 10-15 minutes calm down and do some Qigong exercise and I think the best way is just uh, to have Qigong become part of your life. I've already noticed an improvement in my concentration and focus in my own personal meditation. You know, it's very interesting the people when approaching to me in the office, they're telling me, man, what's going on with you? You're totally different. You're relaxed, you're smiling. We are actually dating. Every Thursday is our date uh, for Qigong. I can't say enough about the Qigong and what it's done for my life and uh, in many, many ways and uh, continues to. I practice every day. One of the examples of how Qigong has miraculously made a difference is several years ago I had a lump in my cheek which after uh, Qigong disappeared completely. Um, I met Master Teresa a few years ago and been seeing her ever since. Uh, from a physical perspective, she's helped me tremendously. Um, I was taking on a lot of my patients' symptoms, so she helped me with grounding. Um, I'm so much more grounded when I work with patients uh, now than I was before. I'm a certified reflexologist, and I also practice Reiki. And what I have found with Qigong is that it is a very useful tool in helping to speed up the healing process with my clients and even for myself. I broke my finger last year and it's been just terrible, hot and red and swollen. I wish I, you had taken a picture yesterday because the swelling has gone down quite a bit. There's no pain whatsoever. I mean, I can really, you know, squeeze this thing. There's absolutely no pain. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sold. It was deep sleep. I didn't wake up. I was dreaming, you know, vividly, and I felt so good. I didn't take as much coffee to wake me up this morning. <laughs> My left knee was really bothering me for the past week. Last night, I had a great night's sleep. I woke up today. There is absolutely no pain in my knee. It's gone. I had this amazing heat moving through my body, and it concentrated on my head, and it was so intense that it kind of startled me a little bit. I know it wasn't a hot flash. And um, I have arthritis in my joints. And this morning, I didn't have to do yoga. I felt completely clear. I just love Qigong. It's amazing. And I just appreciate the treasure that it truly is. I met Master Teresa two and a half years ago. And at that point, I had a lot of cysts and tumors in my body. 
and uh, doing uh, two years uh, practicing Qigong, becoming instructor, helped me to clean up my body in a holistic way just doing uh, Qigong. I've been studying uh, Qigong with Master Wu and Master Teresa for about nine years now. Anyone studying this exercise uh, will benefit spiritually, emotionally and physically where it heals the body in an internal presence and balances all of your hormones, regulatory systems, your heart, breathing, lungs, endocrine system. Master Teresa and Tarni Qigong, I had some blood tests done and I've had an ongoing problem for about I don't know, 10 years or so where I always had super high triglycerides, uh, uh, high cholesterol, all of them very bad. I had a very inflamed <coughs> liver and uh, when I went back and got the test done again, uh, the results were exactly midpoint of normal and I, I never recall having a, a result like that. Starting to learn from Master Wu and continuing learning with uh, Master Teresa, so it has been a wonderful journey and I can recommend it to anybody. So I've been dealing with uh, cancer patients for the last uh, six years. So it's, it's a wonderful uh, thing to do, giving back to the community, especially people dealing with cancer. What I've learned is that patience is a, is a, is a major point. You have to do what makes sense to you, what makes sense to me or us. We have to have patience to let it happen. And it's happening. <clears throat> My name is Dr. Douglas Nelson. I'm a family practitioner from St. Petersburg, Florida. And I've been a practitioner of Wu Yang Qi Gong for many years now. I find the practice of Qigong indispensable, not only in my own life and for the, my own sake and health and well-being, but certainly for my patients who are practicing Qigong, they experience marked benefits in all ways. And in the mental health field, the best truth that I've come upon is that if you want to feel better, take the medicine. If you want to be well, face the truth. When a person faces the truth and, and becomes whole, it's a miracle. And Qigong offers that. Any disease is, a, is an obstruction to flow. Now if you look at flow, a flow is always up and down, back and forth. So if we take a Qigong practice and we are still, still the inside starts to move. It starts to move with the mind. The blending of the mind and the body make for exchange of chemicals, make for exchange of metabolites, it helps digestions, it eases your mind from strain, it makes sense, it gives you sense. And once we have sense, we have consciousness, and consciousness leads us out of despair, it leads us out of depression, and it leads us into happier, happier family life. Continue to practice it, and it's good for your health. As a medical doctor, certainly the more you do, the better it is. And Certainly, it's good to have the good friendship and network and spread that around. I think it's good for all of our communities.